All right, brothers and sisters, Friday, June 30th, 2017. I'm out here in Flint, Michigan at the Flint Farmer's Market. I'm meeting up with Pastor Charles Keener. He's all the way here from uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. And we're going out to uh, feed the homeless, and I will introduce you to Charles. I'm waiting on him now. And uh, we're going to go out uh, to the streets of Flint, Michigan, and uh, pray for the homeless. and. Uh, see if we can make a difference and pass out some food and uh, try to meet their needs so stay tuned all right i'm ready pastor dave i'm out here in uh, michigan with uh, Pastor Charles Keener. Where are you from? North Carolina. Greensboro. Greensboro. What are you doing in Flint, Michigan? I wanted to learn what homeless life was about, and I found out. You found out the hard way. way and I choose no one to, to choose homeless because you, you go into soup kitchens every, every day, and you live in a shelter. Some, if you're lucky. And some lives in woods. Some lives on bandit buildings. Yeah. A lot of live in different areas. And we're going to a homeless camp in a moment. And I choose from here. Anybody do not choose homeless because it's not good a good life. And if you are a Christian, choose not choose to be a better Christian and not choose homeless. See, I don't think though no one chooses to be homeless. It's, uh, situations happen in people's lives. I don't think no one really gets up one day and says, and some, I wanna be homeless. It's just... Some just, just become without place to live, place to go. So we should be thankful for the things we have if we have exactly. a house and a roof over our head. We should be and thankful. we should open our hearts and uh, have compassion for those that don't have the, the things that we take uh, for granted every day. Exactly. To be out here in the heat, it's hot today. Exactly. And no place to lay your head. If it starts raining, then uh, you're just going to get rained on. Exactly. Here's Jeff. Come on, Jeff. Let me get you in here, man. We got Jeff here, and, uh, and he can tell you about homeless too. It's not. It's not that anyone chooses to, to live this life, is it? No, definitely not. Um, you don't grow up saying, "Hey, I'm gonna be an alcoholic, or I'm gonna be a, in a dysfunctional family, or I'm right. gonna be homeless." You know, just right. things happen. And that can happen to good people. I mean, it all the time. To us, all the know? time. You know. I worked hard and had uh, lost everything, lost the house, and that's what happened in our situation. And, uh, I'm just blessed to have well, people like Pastor Dave here that well, we love you can help me pick up my bags and bring them places and you're going out to a camp now where you're going to be out in the woods huh yeah and uh, I, like i said i've got uh, four tents coming sunday so we're gonna that's gonna really help out too so thank you them. especially against the, the the weather you know keeping stuff dry how so. safe is it to be all right now we're here with dennis and uh jeff this is where you guys are staying huh yes sir. we're not going to disclose this location but this is kind of where you bed down at night it's a homeless place a uh, little little uh, camp site you got here right and uh, again I'm not gonna say where but we need your help everyone that's watching this we need you guys to come through with uh, some resources so we can get these guys out of the woods and into the housing and uh, resources that they need clothes and food and the uh, man it's just not a, it's not an easy life is it no it's not and uh, we spoke the other day and I did a video with you and I got four tents coming for you all right. Sunday Thank and a lot you. of other resources. Yeah, we, we can definitely we can use them. So, I just want to show the. I just want to show the church what it's like to not have a a, a roof over your head or a house. Right. You know, we take a lot for granted, man. Exactly. All right, Except God bless. All right, we're back downtown, Flint. Uh, but uh, uh, Charles, I wanted you to touch on uh, what happened to a homeless gentleman. Uh, this week, there was a homeless guy killed, stabbed in the neck. Not very far from St. Michael's. Right up here off of Saginaw, huh? Yeah. Not far from where we're standing. Uh-uh. And for no reason, just because he, he was just homeless. He just got stabbed in the evening. In the evening. It may have been gang-related, like a gang initiation. I don't know what it was. 
So the homeless. And I found out it was a, I, I go to the soup kitchen at the St. Michael's, and I found yeah. out then. My goodness, we just have to pray for the homeless. I'll be out here again tomorrow, and I'll I'll, I'll see you, Charles. Thanks everybody All for right. watching. God bless. Thank you.